Thank you for accepting our interview. You traveled to Canada to represent your essay at the John Molson Undergraduate Case Competition, which is one of the largest international business competitions. And you took home the second prize, and Ahmed received the Best Speaker Award. Now, before, before taking part in this competition, you were trained by the coordinator of the International Case Competition Program, Dr. Agob Balusian, and the instructor of accounting and finance, Dr. Ali Sharif. So tell us more about the training process. How long did it last? How did it prepare you to compete on an international level? And what skills have you developed? So the case competition program will program BAU BOSB. And basically, it's a pool of students being intensively trained every week to go represent AOSB abroad in case competitions, where you get a business problem and then you have a couple of hours to solve it, make your slides, and then present them. Uh, in our time at OSB, we've applied to this program. We've been selected and then we've been trained multiple, multiple, multiple weeks. And then we've gone chosen and sent to case competitions, if anyone wants to add to that. So basically, we've been training together for about like three months total with the same team before going off to Canada. Okay, and what skills have you developed after the training process? Mm, I think that we gained many skills in terms of communication skills, um, like really personal, both personal skills and academic skills. So after forming the team, you kept on receiving intensive trainings, uh, as you said, for three to four months, and finally the, the time has come to participate in the GMUC competition. Now tell us more about the format of this competition. So basically, uh, we had to solve three three-hour cases, and after that, we had one 24-hour case. We were we were locked up, if you want, in one room to solve this 24-hour case. And at the end, all points were accumulated in order to uh, take us to the finals. Yeah. So yeah. it's 24 teams from around the world, and they're split into six different divisions. So it's kind of like a mini tournament. Mm -hmm. And on each day, you go head to head against a different team. So team A versus team B and so on. And uh, you're basically ranked on each day against that team. And, you, and the judges give you points based on how well you did compared to the other team, not the other teams in your division. But for the 24 hour case, the long one, um, it carries the most weight out of all the, all the cases. And uh, it usually determines who ends up winning the division. And then the teams that win each division end up going into the finals. So the top six teams of each di of each division uh, go into the finals, and they represent the final case um, to a bigger panel of judges and a bigger uh, audience, of course. Yes, I think it's important to mention that we didn't make it, and we didn't win our division. Yeah. We were second. Oh yeah, we're, we got the seventh place finalist. For in, in case two teams are so strong in the same division, now we tied with three, two other universities, and then because we won the creative case, which we solved before going. Uh, it advanced us to the finals. Yeah. And as you said, 24 uh, Canadian and universities were competing for the same prize. Were you expecting to win the second place? Uh, Honestly. Really. <laughs> uh, I know, when the result, first of all, they announced the third, then the second, then the first. So when they announced the third, that was the University of Florida, now we were expecting either third or fourth. So when they said third, uh, we I lost think hope. we lost hope. <laughs> and then, as Karim previously mentioned, uh, when we were talking before, we were thinking what to tell our coaches and then our coaches were thinking what they should tell us. So uh, then they're starting, they were, everyone got back in their seats and they're going to announce second place and AUB logo pops up. And I wish there was a camera to film us on yeah. that. Yeah, we, uh, like, we were, we were really other, surprised. The other teams, like the, si the third place and the first place, like they got up and started cheering. We sort of stared at each other for five <laughs> seconds. And then, and, and, then, and then Ali looks at me and he goes, guys, go collect your prizes. <laughs> so, it took so a like, bit of time okay, for yeah, us we, to like, we process really, like, the whole thing. We still yeah. haven't processed it yet, to be honest. We were, yeah. we were so like just shocked yeah. because um, some of the teams there, actually most of the teams there, have had their case competition initiatives for so long. So they have like rigorous systems. They have professors that are literally just there to train them for, for case competitions. And AUB's only been in, in the game for what, two years? Two years yeah. yeah, so, so Hagop's only, Hagop started the initiative three, just three years ago. So for us, you know, we, we, we weren't expecting a bad result. No, we, we, we were very confident actually in getting yeah. into the finals. And we were very happy when we did. That was kind of the, the threshold we aimed for. But uh, we also knew that there are schools that are, that are really good at doing this. So it was a big shock. In your opinion, what factors have contributed to the most to winning the second place? Um, I think basically it was our like dedication and hard work. We trained for a lot of time, so it was mostly that. 
and we were focused from day one uh, to reaching our goal and we did so. I yeah, I think definitely dedication and our team spirit as a yeah. team. Yeah. We, I, know, uh, I would weigh team dynamics a lot. Definitely. I think, so. I, th I think that's the most important word, yeah. actually. Yeah. And by the way, um, like a big part of the team forming process is that uh, before the teams are formed, Hagop actually makes pe different combinations of people solve cases yeah. and observes them just to see the way they interact with each other and whether they click with each other, whether they have conflicts, um, whether their conflicts are a good thing or, or, or a bad thing. So yeah, team dynamics. Yeah. And I think definitely the intense training and the support we get from our coaches. Now on a personal level, what have you learned from the GMC experience as a whole that you will never forget anymore? Hmm. Oh, no. Surviving the cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the freezing cold in Canada, basically. Um, actually, it was nice meeting uh, other people from yes. like different and diverse backgrounds. So that was uh, like the most interesting uh, thing for me. And like interacting with people from different countries was really like uh, something uh, cool. Honestly, we don't get that much in Lebanon. Yeah. And I would add the exposure to the industries we haven't been exposed to before. And some of our cases were extremely complex. And one of the cases we came out, and we're just happy to be done with it. We don't know if we did well or not. But uh, yeah, I would say the exposure to different industries, I'd say that you know, the time with the team and then the you know, skills, I think and, you know, they're very transferable skills. You know, mm. The more cases yeah. you solve, the more you learn. Yeah. Yeah. So it helps us in even more competitions soon. I, uh, I'd say endurance. Like, and I think that's a big reason why you want to remember. Cause we, so um, the 24-hour case, Joel wasn't exaggerating. They literally lock you in a hotel room for 24 hours and you guys are stuck with each other for 24 hours. You can't talk to people outside, there's no communication with the outside world, no social media, no phones, none of that. Um, like 15, 16 hours in, a lot of, I think, other teams started to mentally check out and they were just like, you know what, we've done, done. done what we can do and, and we kind of, I think, remember in that moment, like 10, 11 p.m., we're like, guys, almost there, keep going yeah. and, and that kind of endurance is something I think all of us kind of are going to take for like a long time. Now for the last question, what is the importance for a student to participate in such competition? Hmm. Okay, and a lot I, of things. Yeah, and I think what we've learned in this program is you can't learn it anywhere else. Then you get to apply what you actually learned. You get to make new friends and you get to learn a lot by either it's by traveling to new countries, by meeting people from different backgrounds. Uh, anyone who gets the chance to uh, you know, be part of the program, they should. Uh, they will be recruiting very soon, so anyone who can apply should definitely do it. Uh, Maaf, you want to add anything? Yeah, definitely. This program really changes you as an OSB student from the skills you acquire, the friends you make, the opportunities you get after that. It's a really once in a lifetime experience. It's the family you make, Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. Cheesy but true. <laughs> no, no, <it laughs> true. Yeah. 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 That's it. Thank you, Thank you so, right. much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And cut.